let's talk about the geology of shatakite. Shatakite is a highly sought after and rare secondary copper mineral and is named after the mine where it was first discovered at the Sheka Copper Mine of Bisbee, Arizona in the United States in 1915. It was initially found as a pseudomorphs of malachite and it was quickly gained attention by its beautiful blue hue and color. Over the past century, several other deposits have been found where shatakite has pseudomorphed out of azurite or diaptase. Shatakite can be translucent to opaque, have a dull to silky luster, or a dark blue to a light blue, even a turquoise blue coloring. Its blue coloring is a result of the copper present in the mineral. Shatakite rarely forms into crystals, but is more commonly found in reniform, globular, botryoidal and stalactitical formations. It is found mostly in the desert regions and fascinating as the material is, it's formed by secondary byproduct of other copper silicate materials. The formation through an interesting process is known as pseudomorphism, where malachite and azurite are atomically replaced with the new material, but it still maintains their original crystal shape, making it look like it has merely transformed from one substance into another. Shatakite also occurs occasionally in quartz deposits, but it's usually requiring the existence of other secondary copper materials present first, like malachite or azurite or diaptase to form. On the most scale of mineral hardness, shatakite grades as a 3.5, meaning that it can easily be scratched and is a very delicate stone. Shatakite is mined in copper mines and alongside copper seams. It is as a relatively rare stone, shatakite is primarily found in mines in Nibia and in Arizona and the United States. Other deposits have been found in the DRC, South Africa, Greece, Italy, Mexico, and United States, California, Nevada, and New Mexico. Nibian shatakite is is highly sought after for its bright blue coloring along with strong metaphysical energies. Stay tuned for part three where we're going to talk about how to use shatakite in daily meditations, wearing it as jewelry, and setting it around your house.